part goes like this. fatigue so uh, let's play this the rhythm part now it's played with in the key of G the four chord progression right so I'll show you a progression whereby you can you can connect it with a G okay I remember I showed you this I remember I showed you this style in, in what lesson what lesson was it in the there was a lesson I, I did a rumba lesson I did, I think it was Afro if I'm not wrong. I think it was Afro if I'm not wrong. I showed you a progression on which of which or on which which can you can play from a key and then you play the second rhythms. It was Afro, yes. Second rhythms. Okay, I, I told you a second rhythm, okay? So that is the progression we are going to use here. So let's start. Let's start with our five chord progression. G five chord progression from here, right? So I told you when I was teaching you the Afro, uh, for you to come out from this position, so that you can play the down strings, you just do this one. Your third finger, you remove it from there. Then you take your first finger, you place it down on the first string of the seventh fret. You take your, your second finger will remain where it was, like that. And then I told you in a row, you go backwards. Then if you can remember, I told you that going frontwise, that one is a thing for another lesson. Now I told you going this side. Today I'm going to show you going this side. Okay? So unaona venye mtu learn to guitar pole pole. Guitar unajifunza tu pole pole, pole pole tu. You see? So I told you this one. Ooh. If you want to be a rhythmist, that is the progression you are supposed to learn. Let no one lie to you. That there is a special progression that you need to learn for for you to be a good rhythmist a rumba sana sana rhythmist wa rumba lazima ujue hii progression ones and how to enter the top strings and how to come again on the top bass strings back to our lesson 
okay i was just that one that one was just a by a by the way so like this so we are going that way so remember your fingers are closed then we are going to open it twice uh, once and uh, twice and close it once and then we enter this position okay we are coming from this position and we are going to jump all these ones and enter this position again you can repeat the same process after umesha eleva vinyo process in atomica you can again come from this position go downwards and enter this position have you gotten it so this way so close and then my first finger will come on the fifth on the on the fifth fret first string my second finger will come on the seventh fret second string so we were just here so what i've done ni mepanua tu hapo kidogo tu i'm here my third finger came here my first finger came on the fifth fret of the first string then repeat the same thing here then close the way you close the close here then i want you to take this finger this finger you see this finger third finger i want to take this third i want you to take this third finger and then place it here like this let me show you place it here like this cover string 1 2 and 3 okay so third finger place it on the fifth fret on the fifth fret third finger place it on the fifth fret and cover string 1 2 and 3 so let's go so we are here remember we want to enter this position so when you are, you play this one first and then now you come and enter and then play a four chord progression have you gotten it let's go back so if you understand it if you understand the fretboard very well if you are familiar with the fretboard very well you can just continue you can just continue you can just continue like that so let's go back so three more time So the rhythm goes like this. So 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 For you to this one is just this one. Okay? Even you're so na chezanga. So makosa sina makosa that is what i'm using sina makosa if you have watched my tutorial on sina makosa that is what i'm using i'm plucking string 3 and 2 so
Riot. And then there is so you just pluck the second fret third string and then you pluck the fourth fret third string and then you pluck uh, fifth fret third string so one so two second fret fourth fret fifth fret And then string four of the fourth fret, string five of the fifth fret. Have you understood? This one's I'm just adding my own things, okay? It's not the thing that has been played on that song. I'm just adding my own things so that even you, Sailor Nalan, Ustezange tu kitu moja, kitu moja kijirudia. Jaribu tu nakuwa creative. Huh? Okay, that is what I'm trying to show you. I'm not showing off. It's just what I'm trying to show you that you can be creative also. It's not a must to play something that someone is already playing. Don't copy people. Just be your own. Be yourself. Huh? Just be yourself. Don't copy what other what another person is doing. So I hope you have understood that part, so let's move on to the next.